That's an impact. That's what this program was built upon. Yes, so many great players are standing in this room, so many wise coaches. But what makes this place special is the relationship. How it was done. How it was done. I mean, all those great teams were built off two things. Work and relationships. And it was a dirty, hard kind of work. Preach. Preach. I know I know But I can promise you one thing. That's what we're getting back to. ago. You know, I never would have uh, imagined some of the challenges that, that we got had to experience. And it has nothing to do with the challenges of what took place on a football field. It's the challenges that we missed out on this. We missed out on opportunities of getting together, being together. And in all reality, the reason I came to Florida State is because of how it was done. Because I know it can be done the right way here. It can be done with taking young men from all over, bringing them together, working the ever-living crap out of them, and loving the ever-living crap out of them, to be the best men that they can possibly be on the field, off the field, in the classroom, and in the community. And guess what? The people that are standing around me right now, you're the example of it. And that's what we're striving to do. But I need you. I need you. I'm not saying I want you. I need you. Because I need you, you got to come and I need you to come and connect the past to the future. 
to the present. We need to connect the past to the present. Because today, all our kids have is distractions. It's all about the individual. It's all about just what they are experiencing. But they've got to be able to look beyond that and understand the relationships, understand who they represent. And it's one of the things, you know, we talked about tonight, you know, knowing that a lot of you are going to be here, and a lot of you coming back for the first time in a long time. Man, I, I, we have to make this connection, and it can't just be a, a once every so many year event. We need to be consistent. We need to be consistently together. It's one thing I know, once a know, always a know. Yeah. Yeah. should look like and our kids need that example one of the things that we do and, and this is an open invitation to all past players the night before every game home or away we're gonna have a victory walk and if we're at, if we're on the road we're gonna have a team talk where the only people that are allowed to be to, to be a part of that are past players and current players. Because I want every time that you come here and you're around our team to be able to stand in front of them and to say your name, to say what years you were here, the position you played, and the jersey number that you wore. Because I want them to understand who they represent. Good idea. That it can't, that, that, you know what, there's been investment. There's been a standard of how you operate. It's also the relationships that they get to build. Because it doesn't take long from the second I walked in this door, I heard you getting at each other. <laughs> it doesn't take but a couple moments. Because you know why? It was worked for. It was worked for. That was built on the practice field. That was built on those mats. That was built through the competition of what you experienced. Just like you know, Derek talked about you know, his experience, his story, the challenge. And it wasn't about a tackle. It was about just him being the best of him. And I've been here for 18 months. But we are building a foundation. Because I can promise you, we are going to get this program back to where it deserves to be. Good. And when we get there, yeah. and when we get there, going to stay there yeah. because, of the, because of the values, because of the expectation, because of the standard, because y'all were the example. 15 straight years, 14 straight years in the top five. Still, to this day, man, that was the elite. <laughs> Absolutely. But it, there was a reason that why it happened. Work and relationship. Be a part of this family. Speak victory over this program. Because you know what? It's easy. It's easy to sit back and say what it is not. But I know what the hell is being built for what it's going to be and what we're going to become. Because I understand who we represent. And it is not taken lightly. So when I, when I say that I need you, it's an absolute necessity. So show up, show out, and build these relationships with these young men. But we're, we are going to do everything in our power to represent you the way you deserve to be represented. And tonight, you know, for the, for the past players, you guys, man, we're going to scrimmage at 7 o'clock. Right? It's going to be our first opportunity to cut it loose. We're, we're seven days into, into uh, to fall camp. We're just coming back from a trip to Jacksonville where, you know, some of that dirt hardy work, or that the dirty hard work, oh, we, just, we just got some of that. All right, we're, we're trying to build that toughness, that mentality. And tonight we're going to get a chance to get out there and, to, and, and fly around. But for the, for the past players, tonight, if you'd like to, and, I, and I, the thing I would ask is just the, the, just the player. Or the coach. You guys come down to the, to the sideline. 
I'm going to put the whole team on one side and, you know, due to COVID and all the, all the other stuff, right, I'm going to have you guys on the other side of it. And after we're done, if you guys want to come and kind of circle the, the, the outer, the outer uh, spot, I want a chance to introduce y'all. Chance for you to be able to stand in front of your team. I just want to say thank you for what you've done and the opportunity that I have to represent you in building our program back to where it is going to go and how it, what it, where it deserves to be. You're an incredible group. I appreciate the example that you've been. Thank you. I got one more thing. <laughs>